Today we're making Applejack loaf. Come on in, welcome to my home. Now today is a recipe that is using a ton of stuff that we've already made before. It is so good and so easy. Let me show you what we're using. We are using our self-rising flour. If you want to learn how to use, make self-rising flour, just click that eye in the sky, it'll teach you. We're using Applejack. Applejack is a wonderful, rustic Applejack. If you want to learn how to make that, just click that eye in the sky. And we are using my own homemade butter. Now the butter on the, both of these two things, you can go out and just buy all of this. You don't have to go out and you know make it yourself but you can put the combination together. Such an easy recipe. My oven's preheated at 350 degrees. I have this all completely mixed up and I'm going to add my dry ingredients. Sugar, remember the ingredient amounts are listed down below. And we have our cinnamon. Mix those in together. You don't need a lot of sugar because this apple jack is super, super sweet. Then I'm going to stir in my apple jack changing stirring implements. You'll want to stir this until it is completely incorporated. It becomes like a soft dough. Then I'm just going to slightly roll this out, place it into my bread pan. Remember, my pan was greased. Now I'm going to take a knife and just slightly slit down the top. Why am I doing that? Because I have butter. We're just going to pour the butter on top of this. I know right now you're saying that is a heck of a lot of butter. It's okay. It'll be fine. I'm going to bake this for about 45 minutes to an hour until it is nice and done. You can put a cake tester into the center of it and it will come out clean. Our Applejack bread is out of the oven. It is still nice and warm. I'm going to cut off a piece. As you can tell, nice and crisp on the outside. Oh, and you can smell it. The cinnamon and the apple. All right, let's give it a taste. Wow, that is super good. You can taste the apple, and there's that like apple butter kind of combination. Then with the cinnamon, it just mixes in there and brings the apple up to another level. Uh, it is so wonderful and so good. Now, some of you are saying, but I don't have Applejack and I don't really want to make Applejack. Mm, go ahead and make it. It's worth it. It really is worth making your own Applejack, even if you don't drink it. Just simply for this bread is so worth the effort. Tastes so good and it just, take, just took a few ingredients. If you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.